Hey NDT fans, Chris Mingay from Revo Group. We're uh, out on site today doing some long range ultrasonic testing with the uh, Innerspec Volta. We've got this fuel line at a fuel refinery and it's probably over a kilometre long. Uh, it's an 8 inch pipe or 220 millimetre pipe with an 8 millimetre wall thickness. Uh, we've been told there are some defects but we don't know where they are, so we're just gonna verify this with Elra. Uh, so we've, we're using a 64 kilohertz ribbon on a magnetostrictive strip that we've epoxy resin to the pipe. We quite often use uh, 3M double-sided tape, but the surface of this pipe is quite rough, and even with a bit of sanding, it wasn't quite smooth enough. So we've epoxy resin the MS strip there. We put some carpet tape over the top to dampen uh, the, the noise that it creates and uh, improve the quality of the signal. So we've fitted this ribbon, we've set up the Volta and we've conducted a test out to 100 metres, so 50 metres up and 50 metres downstream. We've come into the office now to remove the glare from the screen but we've got a successful scan from the fuel pipe. Uh, we've labelled all the welds here and then we've labelled all the defects that we've found. And the way we did that is we just basically zoomed in and we can zoom up. And then anything that's significant, we've labelled as either a defect or a weld. We measured out the pipe to make sure that these major responses were actually welds. And you can pretty well see the welds there. Uh, once we've done that, we applied a distance amplitude correction curve and the white line is using the welds to uh, calibrate the distance amplitude correction curve. And then with uh, certain decibel drops, they've classified the defects as blue, red, and green. And then once we've done that, we hit this little categorize button and it categorizes all those defects. So initially all those defects came up as gray. Once we hit categorize, they all come up with their corresponding colors. Now if we turn that back off again, we can zoom in again. So obviously on this end of the scale where we haven't got much of sound attenuation, a defect this big is, is quite insignificant. Then as we move across, we have more significant defects. These green ones, still pretty insignificant. We wouldn't bother reporting on them too much. And the further out we go, because of the attenuation, a defect that's only that high on the screen is still significant because that's the welds there. I'll zoom back out again. As you can see, we've got the scan, we've saved it. That opens up this bottom tab for reporting. So once we've saved this scan, we've, we've categorized all our defects, we can put the parameters of who, who the project's for, the client site location, etc., etc., up the top. And then we put in the information that we want. I don't really want a frequency sweep because that's of no use to, to the customer, but the rest of it I do, so I'll leave it at that. And then hit preview. Now it's creating a PDF report that we can export via uh, Wi-Fi, email it, or a USB stick, or just cable straight to my PC. And it's got all the parameters of the job, who owns it, all about the pipe, properties, the NDT settings so that we can replicate this inspection at a later date. Uh, that's quite comprehensive. We've got a component map here and it goes from 0 to 100 meters and bunches it all up but because we did a forward scan in one direction not a bi-directional scan it's only filled half the component map but it shows where all the defects are and the classifications of those defects in the, with the colors. That's not much use to us, it's just nice to see. But down here, this is what matters. We've got all our welds, all our defects numbered and labeled. We've got the axial start and finish, uh, axial start and end position in millimeters so we can locate these defects. We can also put a description. I haven't put a lot of description into this one because we were just playing around a bit to see how this goes. But they're elbow welds as the pipe changes direction. And down here, Interestingly, we found some external corrosion. Now, obviously we can't verify any of these defects without going back with something like phased array or a thickness measure, measurement 
ultrasonic tool and verifying because there it's mostly internal corrosion uh, but the external corrosion if you have a look here we've got from 20 meters to 22.8 meters so we've got about 2.8 meters of external corrosion now as you can see from these photos of the external corrosion we, we crawled underneath a road bridge that obviously was full of mud underneath there for some time and caused some external corrosion to verify it visually and we measured it out and it was spot on the spikes correlated within plus or minus 100 millimeters so when you're talking a, a 100 meter scan to uh, pinpoint your defects plus or minus 100 millimeters was pretty good I thought and we've labeled them there as external corrosion then we've got a picture of the a scan and then as I said you can download that to the tablet and then from the tablet you can email it you can use a cable to your PC or a USB stick send it to your customer hopefully that's of interest to you guys uh, if you think this tool the, the other inter interesting thing to note is this Volta does medium range circumferential around the pipe medium range axial walking speed scan along the pipe or long range UT so three tools in one it also does your standard thickness measuring uh, e both EMAT and with a uh, flexible D-cut probe which is using uh, compression waves uh, it, it, it's a very versatile machine if this is of any interest to you guys or if you've got questions for us please click us an email on our Revo Group website or uh, give us a call thanks very much